Good. You're right as far forward as I would want. You see how far you can push that nose? Point your right hand at her finger, twirl your left at the nose. Good. Release. Good. And then drop back. Then let her get a little ahead. This is the easy part. You're going to drop back so your feet are parallel with her back feet. Better. Whoop, don't let her cut in though. Always start if you can with your right hand reaching across your body to push. She'll get better with that cue. Good. And then here, see if you can drift back but keeping your kind of straight. See if your feet can be parallel to her hind feet. There you go. There you go. That's it. Good job. Now could you slow her down as you go towards the barn? Giving a little wiggle. Try not to shorten the line too much. That's perfect. Good. Good. Okay, now as you come up the longer side, let's see how far that you can go. Can you get to the upper corner? Good. You may have to step across into leading position and physically push her nose over. Good. That's it. Good. Now drift back. Switch. Yep. Drift back. Whoop. Drive her on. Slow down. Breathe deep because I see a tiny bit of uncertainty. Do you see it? Yeah. Feel it? Good. Now bring her to a stop straight with a wiggle. Good. You may have to walk up towards the nose to keep her straight. Oh, 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 ah. Ah. There you go. Good. Good. So this yes, is... We're still working on the stop straight. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, the, I totally could see the difference. Mm-hmm. From there to here. Yep. You could see her all of a sudden looking. Yep. And then as soon I feel like as soon as she saw I was with her. Yep. She was better. And then what did you feel as you turned towards the barn? Then she was kind of like, maybe I'm gonna turn. Yeah, maybe I'll just hurry up through this. Yeah. The scary stuff is behind me. So let's try one more time to go over to that side and when you get her further up, I want you to stop in that corner facing away from the barn on the long side. Okay. Um, over there? Over here, up in that top over corner. Right yeah. Okay. So go down about, um, go down about 20 feet and then turn right. Good. Ask that nose and shoulder. Step forward and push her off of you forward. Step forward and physically push the nose over. The nose. There. That's better. Good. Now, slow your steps and drive her to get ahead of you. You'll have to feed her a little bit of line. Good. It's a little bit counterintuitive when we have to give line when we're pushing them away. Good. 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 So you're doing a good job, but you're up in the leading position. And that's okay for teaching. Then you're going to drift, let some line out. There you go. This looks lovely. Now you're drifting back into the driving position. Beautiful. And you're getting some relaxation. Watch for that relaxation to turn into moody or to turn into I don't want to. And now see if you can slow that down and stop straight. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There you got it. Good. Now go back and see if you can rub her on down the body and towards the hip and that she can just stay there. Ask her to tip her nose back to you so as you move back you can see her right eye. There and then put a little slack in the rope. Good. Good. Could she wiggle back a few steps? Could you wiggle rope her back two or three steps? Yeah. Good. So this exercise is just helping develop some good tip her nose back to develop during the walking warm up to develop some straight sides to your circles so that you can make your circles bigger.